This video is to help you get started with using the Globalization Pipeline service to rapidly translate your applications, either running directly on Bluemix or from other environments. We're going to show you how to translate an application in near real time that is running on Bluemix. To get started, open the dashboard to your instance of Globalization Pipeline. Next, click on the Bundles tab. And finally, click on the New Bundle button. Select a name for your bundle and the file format of the bundle that you will upload. Next, click on Choose File and navigate to the file on your local file system. At this point, we're not going to select any target languages yet, so now we'll just go ahead and click Save. Now, from the Bundles view, click on the name of the bundle that you just created. And now, click on Add Language. Now, we're going to go ahead and select one or more languages. I'm going to select only French at the moment. Once you select the language, the Globalization Pipeline service will automatically use the default machine translation engine to translate your bundle into the target language. We're going to show you how you can also use alternative machine translation engines other than the default engine a little bit later. Now, click on the refresh button to check the status of your translation. Typically, it only takes a minute or two for your translation to be completed, so you might have to click on the refresh button a few times to check the status. If the status indicates any errors, then you'll need to investigate your source content for errors and make any corrections if needed. You can now click on the French link to see your translated content. From this view, you'll see that your keys and original source content is displayed along with the translated content. Later, we will come back and take a look at how you can edit the machine translation content if needed. Now, we're going to see how you can configure other machine translation engines. To configure different engines, click on the Machine Translation Configuration tab. If you wish to use the Watson Language Translation Service on Bluemix for translating your source content, then you must first create an instance of the Watson Language Translation Service before you can use this machine translation engine from Globalization Pipeline. I have already created an instance of the Watson Language Translation Service in my organization in space. Your instance of Watson Language Translation Service can be left unbound, or you can use an existing bound instance from another Bluemix application. From the pull-down, select the instance of Watson Language Translation that you wish to use, and then click on the Enable button. You'll now be presented with a confirmation dialog to confirm that you want to use the Watson Language Translation Service from the Globalization Pipeline Service. Note, additional charges may apply when you use the Watson Language Translation Service rather than the default machine translation engine that is provided by the Globalization Pipeline Service. Any additional charges will be directly computed by the Watson Language Translation Service. The Watson Language Translation Service uses deep learning and more sophisticated algorithms to perform translation. Now, click on the Update Languages button to select which languages you want to be translated by the Watson Language Translation Service. Note, in some cases, a language may not be supported by the Watson Language Translation Service, so only the default engine may be available for that language. While, in other cases, a language may only be supported by the Watson Language Translation Service, so you will need to use the Watson Language Translation Service rather than the default machine translation engine provided by the Globalization Pipeline Service. 
For example, translating into Arabic is only available through the Watson Language Translation Service. I'm going to go ahead and select the Watson Language Translation Service for Spanish. Once I have configured my machine translation engine preferences, I then click on the Save button. The Globalization Pipeline service also supports some third-party machine translation services. Currently, we provide support for using the Capita TI machine translation service. To use the Capita TI machine translation service, from the Globalization Pipeline service, you must first establish an account with Capita TI and obtain service credentials by going to their website. To go to their website, click on the Capita TI Machine Translation API link. Once you have obtained your credentials, then click on the Capita TI button. You'll now be presented with a screen to enter your credential information for accessing the Capita TI Machine Translation Service. So now I'm going to go ahead and enter my credentials. When you're done entering in the credentials, click on the Save button. Now that we have properly configured the Capita TI Machine Translation Service, we can click on the Update Languages button to select the languages that we want Capita TI to translate. I'm going to go ahead and select that I wish to use the Capita TI service for German translations. Once I've configured my machine translation engine preferences, I then click on the Save button. Let's go back and translate our content into some other languages. Click on the Bundles tab and then click on the name of your resource bundle. Now, click on the Add Language button and select another language. I'm going to select Spanish and then click on the Yes button to start the translation. In this particular case, the Spanish translation will be performed by the Watson Language Translation Service rather than by the default machine translation engine as I previously configured Spanish translations to be performed by the Watson Language Translation Service. Remember, it only takes a minute or two to translate your content, so click on the Refresh button to check the status of your translation. Now, click on the Spanish link to see your translated content. If you wish to remove a language, simply click on the trash icon from the languages list for your bundle. And I'm going to go ahead and remove the Spanish translation that we just did. If you need to edit the machine translated content, simply click on the language and then click on the edit button for the string that you wish to edit. If you have a language specialist that you wish to let edit your content, then you can establish a Bluemix account for them and grant them appropriate access to your Bluemix organization in space. I'm going to go ahead and make an edit to one of the strings. Once I'm done with my edit, I click on the Update button. If I want to download my translated content as a file, simply click on the download icon for the language that you want from the languages list for your bundle.
select the file format that you want the file in, and then click download. In today's modern development methodologies, speed of delivery and DevOps is the name of the game. The Globalization Pipeline service enables you to deliver translated content for your application in near real time without having to download translated files, recompile, and repackage your application, and then restart your server. This is made possible through the fully integrated Globalization Pipeline's RESTful APIs and programming language SDKs. You can find a link to the SDKs from the Globalization Pipeline service documentation along with examples of how to use the SDKs in your applications. I'm now going to show you an application that has been configured to use the Globalization Pipeline service Java SDK and how you can add languages to the application dynamically. Let's go back and now add Spanish to our application by clicking on the Add Language button and selecting Spanish. Let's click Refresh to check the status of our translation. Remember, it only takes a minute or two for the translation to be completed. Now that our translation is completed, we can simply change the browser's language preference to Spanish and refresh the browser page. Now you can see that the application is now running in Spanish. If you need to make changes to your source content, simply make the changes in your English resource bundle and then upload the file again by clicking on the upload icon from the languages list for your bundle. I'm going to add a new string to my resource file and then upload it. Once the new file is uploaded, the Globalization Pipeline service will inspect your content for changes and will only retranslate new and changed content. You don't need to worry about losing any edits. As long as the source content has not changed for that string, then your edit will not be overwritten. If you remove a string, then the translations for that string will also be automatically removed by the Globalization Pipeline service. We hope this video has shown you how quickly it is to use the Globalization Pipeline service to rapidly translate your Bluemix applications into other languages and how easy it is to integrate the service into DevOps and support continuous delivery.